My name is George Craig, and I'm a network engineer here at Draeger. I'd like to talk to you today about the key security principles of CIA. One of the models we use to design policies for information assurance is the Confidentiality, Integrity, and Availability Triad. Understanding these concepts is important for any cybersecurity implementation. Confidentiality is the concept of preventing disclosure of information and is based on the principle of least privilege, encryption, and privacy. The principle of least privilege states if you don't need access to something, you shouldn't have it. This applies to both physical assets as well as information-based assets. If you don't need access to that locked room, you shouldn't have a key. Encryption supports confidentiality by making it more difficult on disclosure to access the information. You need to take an extra step, say, decrypting of the data to actually make use of it. Confidentiality is all around us in the media today, whether it be through Hollywood and spy movies, where people are trying to steal nation state secrets, or even through the news media, where they inform us that sometimes governments try to intercept our communications, thereby compromising our privacy. Integrity is another important component of security, where the goal is to prevent manipulation of information. Throughout its life cycle, we want to maintain accuracy and consistency of the information and prevent alteration from unintended parties. If we think of a financial institution and making a deposit, we'd want that deposit value to be accurate. If someone was able to say, reduce that in the future, we would consider that theft. Financial institutions take great care in ensuring the integrity of their transactions. The final component is availability. Information, to be useful, must be available when needed. We hear about issues of denial of service in the news today, where a malicious actor, or even just by mistake, some resource is completely exhausted and some system becomes unavailable. A financial institution, for example, may have excellent policies on confidentiality and integrity, but if they're not available when I need to make a transaction, I still have a problem. We don't always have the levels of confidentiality, integrity, and availability that we might want. In certain cases, and in context, we often have to make prioritization decisions. For example, banks are not always open for use, and even if we go into a bank, we may have to wait. So availability is often compromised when high confidentiality or high integrity is required. Finally, another example is say we have a bridge that has to be open for ships to pass. In this case, confidentiality really isn't a concern at all. In fact, we want availability of the schedule so that ship owners can be sure when their products will arrive or that pedestrians and automobiles would know when there could be delays when the bridge has to open. What we really need in this case is integrity. We would want authenticated and authorized users to open and close the bridge for safety reasons. You wouldn't want to open the bridge when pedestrians are on there, or you wouldn't want to close it when a ship is underneath. These are the three security principles of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Here at Draeger, we consider these every day when designing our products. Thank you for listening, and please stay tuned for future episodes.